Um, so here in this chatting app, I was trying to send images and as we do that, actually we'd be able to listen to the sending images, which means that as we are uploading the images to the backend, we'd be able to listen what happens during uploading. Now how to listen to that? Now here is our upload file function. You need to call it from somewhere. For example, I'm calling it from, from here on this button press. So as I click on this button, this upload file gets called. Now, of course, first I check if I have an image or not. Well, the image is actually at the top that uh, I get a reference. Actually, this one gets called first image from gallery, and then we pick up the file, save it in a variable, and then we call our upload file function. All right. And after that, actually, this is the function that gets called. Now, the first thing we do over here, give it a random name so that it doesn't overlap with other names. And after that, we get a reference from Firebase Storage. So there is the folder, which is called chat folder. And inside this chat folder, actually, we are saving the images. And this is the image name or the file name. Now, the actual things listening to uploading happens over here. So as you see inside this, we have a reference of this uh, folder over here where we put and upload the image. So this is the ref object that we created and ref object will have a function which is called put file. So this is what actually uploads the file to Firebase storage and it has other objects that we need to listen to the first one we call snapshot events and then you can listen to actual uploading so it is an object you can name it anything over here i have named it event as you can see now inside this uh, event section we have a couple of conditions as you can see it ends over here actually so the file pretty much uh, the condition starts from here so inside this actually we have this switch statement that we can listen to so we'll get the event object and then there is an object to it which is called state now this is once again directly coming from snapshot which is coming from firebase so you don't need to worry about it. just go ahead and call event.state now there are a few uh, cases that met that might match with this event state which is called task state running task state paused task state success and cancel so as you upload image so it may be it may belong to any of these conditions so most probably we'll see that over here we fall to this condition where it says that uh up file uploading succeed so this is where we'll see but if things go wrong maybe over here or if we cancel it it would be here and that's it so now if you want to listen to file uploading to Firebase storage, then you have to have this switch statement. And based on that, uh, you can do whatever the task you want. But for now, we are just uh, over here getting the URL and sending the image as a part of our chat, as you have seen just now. So now here, let's do a real demo of uploading images. So over here, I already have this log of, that we printed. So now over here, I'll choose an image and we'll see that it would start printing this one of these messages. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, choose one. So I'm gonna choose this. And as you see, it already started. It says that uploading file, uploading file succeed. Yeah, that's it. So it printed this one, uploading file. So the task was running. So as the task runs, it kept, it kept uh, printing this one. And once the file has been done uploading, over here we see that uploading file succeed. Yeah, so this is a great way of keeping track of your file uploading. So you may listen to your file uploading and based on that, you could do a lot more interesting stuff. For example, over here, if you are running the task, maybe you can show a loading icon where it says that the file is being uploaded. And once that is done, you can also show a message on the screen that it has been done, things like that, okay? So yeah, there are tons of possibilities based on this condition we can go ahead and do.